ecosystem is Malta. We have Carl, Program Manager at Tech.mt, uh, presenting the startup ecosystem of Malta. Malta jumped four spots to rank 56th globally. It ranks 20th in Western Europe. Valletta also jumped 31 spots globally and ranks 15 in Southern Europe. Malta has the highest density of cryptocurrency exchanges in the world, creating a vibrant blockchain and digital currency ecosystem. Startups in the fintech sector thrive in Malta's regulatory framework, attracting international investment and talent. The gaming industry contributes significantly to Malta's economy, with more than 300 gaming companies based on the island. Malta is a popular destination for startups in the emerging technology sector, particularly in areas like AI, cybersecurity, and IoT. The country's supportive government policies, skilled workforce, strategic location, and beautiful, beautiful, beautiful country and, and city and, and the nature make it an attractive choice for entrepreneurs looking to establish uh, innovative tech companies in Europe. I will let Carl uh, continue. Um, Carl, we are not able to see the full screen. Uh, it's you're seeing my the next screen. Um, no, it's it's the the whole you know the, the page where it shows the both both. All right, let me just try again, real quick. Should be fine now, Mahmoud. Yes. Okay. All right, so thank you for your time. We're very pleased with Malta's uh, positive traction this year. Um, as we saw, um, Malta's ranking keeps um, going up. And now we're here to talk about um, uh, Malta's startup ecosystem and what makes it um, special and attractive to foreign investors and also companies that are looking to relocate um, to uh, somewhere else. Um, uh, it's a very short time, but I'll try to keep it as concise as possible. So, um, a little bit about Tech.mt. Tech.mt oversees the tech sector here locally. It oversees the growth of the tech sector, oversees companies that offer a, operate in different verticals of tech. Uh, it aims to attract for indirect investment and hope and uh, helps companies, uh, local companies, to establish themselves overseas. Our four pillars are promotion, innovation, talent, and assistance. Um, and why do startups choose Malta? What makes Malta so so attractive in this um, in this realm? Um, Malta in, is a member of the European Union, so we're a full member of the EU. We've um, been since uh, 2004. Um, uh, Malta ranks six out of uh, the 27 EU member states in the Digital Economy and Society Index, which is um, uh, very positive, um, and uh, the DSE aims to uh, track the traction of the European Union as um, uh, digital uh, as the digital economy. Malta strengths are its ICT, ICT skills and training, and knowledge intensive activities. Um, this was highlighted in last year's uh, European Union Innovation Scoreboard. Um, GDP, Malta's GDP um, is also positive with 4.1% uh, increase prediction in 2024 next year. Um, the different credit rating agencies have always, always um, uh, um, uh, ranked Malta very positive. And Malta again is uh, positioned in a very strategic location. Um, in the central, the central Europe, central Mediterranean, with three hours um, basically fly time to most of the destinations within Europe. Um, uh, we also boast um, highly productive and uh, skilled workforce. We have various incentives, tax and non-tax incentives, also incentives that aim to attract investment and. Uh, um, uh, namely, startup finance, um, startup, um, also some other startup funding, which I will not have the time to go into today. We have a very robust nationwide connectivity, given our uh, small, um, uh, our small state as an island. Um, and to encapsulate this, um, I think the most positive um, here time would be um, state-of-the-art communication infrastructure and 
a regulation which does not stifle competition but uh, boosts system promotion. Um, this is our ecosystem, so from governments, regulators, economic development agencies, academia, science and technology councils, local tech companies, startups, investors, they all make, um, uh, we, we all work together, it's a two-way street in order to continue to um, push our startup e ecosystem even to even great lengths. Um, regulations are very important for us, um, as I said before, um, the government here in Malta aims to um, make um, uh, as make it as attractive as possible um, by uh, making different uh, legislations that um, encourage investment into technology. And here we've seen the, set up, the setting up of the Malta Digital Innovation Authority, Tech.mt, some other um, institutions as well. We have the Innovation Technology Arrangements and, and Services Act, Virtual Financial Services Act, um, Strategy and Vision for AI in Malta, which aims to put Malta in the forefront or make Malta um, a global launch, launch pad for AI, and the Technology Assurance Handbook, which is spearheaded by MDIA in order to um, uh, give uh, more standards to recognize technologies. And this is the value we bring. Um, I won't go into much detail. So we um, participate in local events. We give our, our, our startups um, the much needed boost internationally um, and access to their global markets, different, con uh, different collections and knowledge about different funding and incentives available here locally. Um, another incentive here that we have is the um, consultation initiative aimed at startups and students that they are able to get advice, pro bono advice from established industry players. We have over 40 um, industry players, all top of their field, um, that are able to give um, concise feedback to startups that, that are in need, that are still starting up in a number of different areas, starting from concept validation, um, internationalization, go-to-market strategies, digital marketing, digital transformation, um, e-commerce, and other areas. Um, these are the companies, the local companies established that are helping our startups continue to grow. Um, some of our events that um, promote the, the startup community here, the Business Awards, which is an awards ceremony that celebrates the different successes and the different web-based technologies that are developed here locally. And the Valetech Summit chooses a couple of different teams per year. And, um, we do successful events um, around the teams. Um, last year we did an event on, on IoT and the creative industries. Um, next, these are some of our startups, some of our startup communities here in Malta. Um, and uh, we hope to continue seeing this growing in the very near future. Um, if anyone would like to get in touch with us, feel free to email us. We'll uh, be very, very delighted, very happy 